I used to do on Good Morning America. Good morning, Miami. <laughs> what a treat, though, to be here in front of a room filled with powerful women on the front lines of business. And for me, it shows me just how far we've come. Because when I started my broadcasting career like 40 years ago, um, it was just in like kind of the formative stages of women being taken seriously. And um, now the thing is though, is at that time I started in local news in uh, my hometown of Sacramento, California. And at that time in the 70s, it was really a man's world. I mean, you could count the women on TV news on one hand practically. However, with so few women in TV news, I was able to make the jump pretty quickly from Sacramento to New York City um, to the number one station there, WABC. And there, I got noticed by the producers of Good Morning America. It always helps to be in that city where all the producers live and they see you on the six o'clock news. So I began reporting for them while still working at WABC. And then one evening I was getting ready for, in my little news cubby, um, I was getting ready for the six o'clock show and my phone rang. It was my agent telling me that I had just been offered the job as co-host of Good Morning America. And then 20 minutes later, my phone rang again. It was my gynecologist telling me that I was pregnant with my first baby. <laughs> Delight, dilemma. And hi, I'm that first baby. <laughs> yes, she is. 